Well, joining me now is the former uh, Arizona governor nominee and rising star of the Republican Party, Carrie Lake, who remains a big supporter of the former president, and she's outside the court there in Miami. Uh, Carrie, I mean, extraordinary scenes. They're obviously unprecedented. We've never had any current or uh, ex-president of the United States indicted on federal charges. And most people I've, I've spoken to, uh, and we're just hearing, by the way, breaking news, Donald Trump has pled not guilty to these charges. But most people I've spoken to from a legal point of view, describe these charges, as indeed Jane Wildtrap just did, as exceptionally serious and certainly way more serious than the charges relating to Stormy Daniels and hush money payments. So what is your response, having read the indictment? Well, you're right. We've never seen this happen before because we've never had someone as corrupt as Joe Biden sitting in the White House turning our government against our people. We've never had someone like Joe Biden, who is, in fact, a criminal himself, who's taken bribes from the CCP, who's taken bribes from Ukraine and many others, having to turn and weaponize our department to go after his rival. And this is election interference. Donald Trump is an innocent man. He will be found innocent at the end of the day. And the American people are fed up. They're tired of watching our government being weaponized against us. And this is outrageous. There was a beautiful show of support for President Trump. There were many people showing their President Trump, waving their President Trump flags. And it was really a nice setup down there where a lot of people came out to say, we're, we're tired of this and we're tired of our government being turned against us. I mean, the problem I have with that, Kerry, I've read the indictment closely. And apart from anything else, you hear him on tape, Donald Trump, clearly conceding the documents he has have not been declassified, something he always said he'd done, uh, which many lawyers say is just a, a fait accompli right there, that he's admitting himself that these are not declassified documents and he's sharing the details with other people. I sure wish they would share what these uh, documents are. They're being very mum about what's in them. I'm really curious about what's in them. And, and Pierce, there's more evidence of wrongdoing and crime, frankly, in, uh, Hil on Hillary Clinton's servers. There's more evidence of crime in Joe Biden's garage in those boxes where he had no ability to declassify those documents because he was a senator and a vice president. And frankly, there's more evidence of a crime on Monica Lewinsky's dress than in those boxes that were pulled from Mar-a-Lago. And everybody knows it. Everybody's tired of this charade. But Carrie, Joe let Biden me ask you. Let me jump in, Carrie. His administration is, is, is illegitimate as well. OK. How do you know that, Carrie? How can you be so sure, A, what's in the documents? And how do you explain that even when he was asked to give the stuff back, he didn't? You know what? The president has the right to take the items from the White House. It's happened with Obama. It's happened with previous presidents. It's happened with Bill Clinton. They have the right to do that, and presidents have the right to declassify documents. They don't even have to announce it. They can just think about it, and they can be declassified. It doesn't matter. This is a bogus case, and you know what it is? It's really just a way, Pierce, to give cover to Joe Biden, who just this week we found out took another $5 million bribe and payout from the CCP. And we have 17 recordings of him, according to Senator Grassley, on tape being recorded taking bribes and payouts from Ukraine. This is a distraction to give you and the media something to talk about so you don't have to talk about the crimes Joe Biden commits. Well, it's going to give well, you something what I would to say talk to that. about for the next five Listen, months. I have no truck I have no truck in defending Joe Biden from anything, or Hillary Clinton. I was savagely critical of Hillary Clinton throughout the whole email scandal. I thought that was outrageous. And I do think there are legitimate charges of double standards here, particularly from the liberal-skewed US mainstream media about the way they've treated Hillary Clinton's emails, Joe Biden's documents and others. I think that's a completely valid point. But that doesn't in itself negate the severity of what Donald Trump is accused of doing here. So my question to you is, if he's but, but actually convicted... But, if he, but hang on, Carrie. If he's convicted, is it really realistic that Donald Trump, as a convicted felon on serious federal charges, would continue to run for president or, indeed, win the White House, which he couldn't be in? Pierce... You haven't, you haven't been in the States um, recently to find out just how corrupt our government. From top to bottom, this government is corrupt. The judicial branch, the DOJ, the CDC, the FBI, this entire administration is corrupt. And 
Donald Trump is an innocent man. We know that. This is just another well, witch well, no, hunt. no, you believe Ever that. We don't, we don't, in, we, no, 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 on, no, 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 no. Ever, we, we don't know that. You Ever since he got you into office, to, there's been one thing you after the to, next yeah, but Carrie, to give you guys something to talk Carrie, about. Stop talking about you guys like we're all the same. I don't have anything in common with a lot of the media <laughs> that you have this big problem with. But what I would say about this is I read the indictment. These are serious charges, and I don't yeah. think that the special you counsel can, who's levelled them Pierce, can be deemed to be a partisan guy. So there's a possibility Pierce, Trump gets convicted. So my question again, if he is convicted, should he or could he run for office? You can indict a ham sandwich. Conviction is a whole other story. And he should run for office. He's not going to quit. Donald Trump is the only person standing up for we the people. Our government has turned on us right now. We have an illegitimate Joe Biden sitting in office, weaponizing our government against his lead rival. This is election interference. They know they can't stop President Trump. They know he has the people behind him. They know he's going to win. And they keep trying to throw these other candidates in, trying to get the American people excited about these other people. And they're not. They want President Trump in office. And the only way to stop him is to throw bogus indictments at him and try to arrest him and stop him. OK, and well, a court, well, a court of law is going to his decide... Support, his okay, support is not going Karen, away. His you, you believe they're all bogus and you have a touching uh, loyalty to Donald Trump. I want to play a clip. This is from you, I believe, on Friday, talking about what may happen. If you want to get to President Trump, you're going to have to go through me... And you're going to have to go through 75 million Americans just like me. And I'm going to tell you, yep, most of us are card-carrying members of the NRA. That's not a threat. That's a public service announcement. We will not let you lay a finger on President Trump. Frankly, now is the time. Frankly, now is the time to cling to our guns and our religion. Thank you, Georgia. That's pretty incendiary stuff, Carrie, to suggest that you've all got your no, guns it's not. and you're going to no, use them not. to defend Donald it's Trump. That's not what I said. I am using my freedom of speech to say that we support President Trump. Millions, hundreds of millions of Americans do. And the law-abiding gun owners in America are not the trouble. It's the outrageous rioters on the street that, you know, the media has supported. Don Lemon defending Antifa calling it peaceful protest. We know what, you know, you guys, you guys will always defend Can you Antifa please stop and the people saying burning, you guys? What do you burning. mean you guys? You think I've got anything the, in common with Don Lemon, really? Have you watched my show? Actually... Did Don yeah, Lemon ever have, have you I on have, his show, I, like I have? I, I see... I see how you constantly attack Trump, and I know that that's what your network wants because that's their narrative. It's got nothing Pierce. to do with the network I that, that I work for. And by the way, I have regularly it supported Trump when he's warranted support, and I have regularly criticised him when I felt he deserves criticism. Now I'm taking well, a more now I'm taking a more right down the line position, which is he has been indicted with very serious charges. You may not like it, but you don't know that he's innocent. You just hope he is. Pierce, this, this whole government is illegitimate right now under Joe Biden. It's completely gone bonkers, and they're, they, are, they are weaponizing our Department of Justice. It should be called the Department of Injustice right now against Trump. When the real criminal is sitting in the White House right now, he doesn't even know where he is. His name is Joe Biden. He has taken tens of millions of dollars of bribes, and they're trying to deflect and put the attention on Trump to give you and the media somebody to talk about and something negative to say okay, about Trump. Just for the record, like the media Carrie, has been for eight years. Carrie, just for the record, I haven't mentioned Biden other than when I've responded to you. So when you say you, the media, well, like we're all being some though. collective so blob. Is it's like me saying you politicians, as if you're all the same. You're not. So stop calling me you, the media. Anyway, I've got to leave it there, but it's well, always a joy to catch you up do, with you. You do Karen. work for one of the big... You, you work for one of the corporate giants. You work for Rupert Murdoch, and I understand he is for making sure Trump doesn't get into office. And, you know, that's who signs your check, Pierce. So you got to go along with the company line. I have had absolute... Just for the record, Under Harry, the Murdoch you said empire this last time, I is anti-Trump. I have had absolutely no instruction from anybody at Fox to have any opinion about anybody. 
That's just not what happens there. You might think it does. Well, Nobody has ever said to I me know, I know what I should say about Donald Trump. It's worse than you think. I say things I actually mean. I'm one of those guys in the media. I, I've worked in the media for 30 years under one of these corporate giants, I won't name who, and so I understand the subtle pressure you get All right, listen, to carry, toe the company carry, line. I'm going to leave you there, not because I'm cutting you off, but because okay. you've had more time than we allocated. <laughs> I've got to get always, to other news and other I guests. I always love interviewing with I you. I like having you on the show. It's always robust. But just for the record, nobody tells me what to think or say, and that's why it's called Uncensored. Carrie, great to talk to you. Same here. All God bless you.